Hi there, my name is Brian Wood and I'm a web developer. And what I'd love to do is show you guys the advanced CSS animator from dmxzone.com. I want to show you an example of a site that I'm working on and just give you guys an idea of how you can utilize this extension uh, inside of Dreamweaver. So I've got a site I've been working on for a little while here and it's got some pretty typical stuff, you know, buttons, whatever. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to show some, some shows that I've done, some uh, presenting that I've done, but I didn't want to have to use Flash for this kind of thing. If you notice, if I hover over here, you're going to see that I've got this cool little panel that kind of slides in that I can add just about any content to. So you can see I've got two of these out here. And I want to show you how to do this using the Advanced CSS Animator extension and work with it inside of Dreamweaver. So let me kick over to Dreamweaver. And I've got a page here that's a start page that we're going to work with. So what I've done is I've actually created a div here, pretty simple div, and I assigned a style to it called Container. Now, I want to show you guys the styling information that I've got here for container because this is kind of important. You'll see I put a little border on it. Um, I've got it floating because we're going to put multiple out here maybe. So I might put a bunch next to each other and we'll just float them next to each other. I've got some things, heights, margins, etc. But this is the one thing I want to show. What we're going to do is we're going to insert another div inside of here, inside of this container div, and then position it out here down at the bottom. And then we'll use the advanced CSS animator to slide it up and actually fade it in, which is kind of cool. So the overflow hidden is important. And I also have a position of relative on this div. That's going to be important as well. Because when we put the other one in here, it's got to position itself from the corner up here of the div, not the page. So we put position relative on this div. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text right here I've got in there. And you guys, I put a little picture in the background too, just to make it interesting. And that's a background image, by the way. I'll come over here to my insert panel and I'll insert another div. I'll wrap it around and I'll just call this uh, slider or something like that. I'll make a little class so we can use these you know, multiple styles for this. I will click OK. It's going to assign the, the slider class to it. Now I need to go make it. I could have done it all in one fell swoop there, but I'll do it right over here. I'll say let's make a new rule. I'll come up here and I'll just say let's just call it slider as a class. There we go. I'll put it in this document. You can put it in your CSS if you want to. I'll click OK. I'm just going to add a few things to it. So I'm going to put a background color if you want on the box. I'm going to put a background image in this thing you guys I made. And it's a transparent pink. So I'll go browse for it. And if I take a look, it's called slidebg.ping. There it is right there, 300 by 300. And it's transparent. I'll click OK. And I'll tell it not to repeat, things like that. Just get it out here, upper left, top. Now a couple other things we want to do is we want to position this thing. So I'll go to positioning. And I'll say we're going to position this box absolutely from the corner. I'll put a width on it, um, you know, whatever I could. I could say like a width of 300, something like that. I'll let the height be dictated by the content. We could put a height on it. I'll come down here and say from the bottom, I'll start at zero. And from the left, we'll start at zero. I'll click OK. Now it's going to put it down here. You guys can see it right there. Now the problem is it's still showing, so I want to push it down. So if I come over here to slider... Click on it. Come down here. You guys are going to see from bottom. I'll just change this value to maybe like minus 100 or something. Because we're going to change the height of this to 100 probably. Hit return. You guys can see it moves down there. Now, I'm going to put my cursor in here. It's going to be kind of odd. I'm going to put my cursor in here. Hit return. And start typing. Okay. And we can put links and pictures and anything we want in here. Okay. All right. Let me save this. I'll go take a look at it in the browser. See what we get. You guys will see it's gone. Because this div had overflow hidden. Now, it's hanging out right down here somewhere. Okay, so let me go back. I'll close this up. Go back. Now, the magic here is to come to this div, this one right here, and assign the advanced CSS animator stuff to it. So if I go to the tag inspector or the behaviors panel, basically, you guys can find behaviors under window behaviors. I'll click on a plus, come here to DMX zone, and say advanced CSS animator. Now, this is going to open up the UI, this dialog box. And what I want to do is I want to just say, we're going to animate this slider thing down here. So this is the key right here. Animation applies to, you got to be careful with this. I always forget this, but it's key. It's awesome. I'll say animation, animation applies to, and if you take a look, slider. Now we can apply a bunch of different properties. And in this example, we're just going to employ two. So I'm going to say, we're going to change the positioning. You guys can do all sorts of things. It's crazy here. We're going to change the bottom value, which is how it positioned it way out here. So I'll add this to my used properties. Now it's going to say auto detect from. You want to probably leave that alone, you guys. It makes it so much easier. That just means just find out what it is. It's minus 100. 
and then we're going to slide it to let's say um, minus 20 or something. Now, if I go down here to duration, you guys will see that these things kind of pop to life. We've got units. You guys can pick a bunch of different units. Um, we've also have these. These are pretty cool. These little operators right here. You can say you know plus minus plus equals to do a relative value as well. I'll come down to duration and change that to like 500, let's say. And I'll use a simple ease here of linear ease. Real simple. So duration, you guys can go lower, go higher, etc. You'll also see that we can use advanced values, but for right now we don't need to do that. Now there are some other advanced features we need, or we could use rather, I should say, but we're not going to do that here. So I will click OK. I'm going to go test this out. I'll save it. Go look at it in the browser. And take a look. There we go. Now I want it to hide when we go when we pull off here, when we actually go mouse out. So let me close this up, go back to Dreamweaver. We've still got this selected. You guys are going to see it's got mouse over. We're going to add another behavior. Go to DMX Zone, Advanced Animator. And it's going to add another couple things here we can do. I'll do the same thing, you guys. We've got to make sure animation applies too. And I always forget this. This is my own problem. <laughs> the slider selector. And we can use all kinds of selectors for that. The bottom positioning, I'll add that. I'll say from whatever, auto detect, that's fine, to minus 100 again. Pixel units, duration, I'll make the duration the same, a little bit, a little bit uh, shorter. I can use an easing, let me do that actually. Use the same easing, linear ease. I'll click OK, and I'll test it out. So I'll go save it, preview in Firefox, on, off. You guys can see on, off, there we go. All right, so let me go back. Now, here's the key, you guys. We've got a problem here. You notice how I was kind of quickly doing that? Dreamweaver has a habit of putting the same um, trigger on it. So I mouse over. You can see it's happening for both. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this is the one I just created. I'm going to double-check that by double-clicking Advanced CSS Animator. Take a look at the value. It should be minus 100. Okay, cool. I click Cancel. I'm going to change the on mouse over here to, like, on mouse uh, out or on mouse leave or something like that. That way, we can have this work properly. All right, let me go preview it in the browser. Take a look at it. On mouse over, on mouse out. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now, last thing here. If I come to the on mouse over, we're going to add one more thing for the CSS animator. You guys can pile on things in here, which is really cool, but I just want to do one more thing. I'll double-click on Advanced CSS Animator over in the Behaviors panel, and we're just going to change the opacity. So I come to Other, come to Opacity here, add that, we're going to see auto detect. Now, you guys, I want to say I want you to start from completely transparent, which is zero, to opaque, which is one. Okay? And the units don't matter, you guys. We don't need to do that. And the duration is the duration I had before. So I want to make sure I'm doing the slider. Of course, it remembers that from last time. I click OK. Now I'm going to do on mouse out. We'll do the same thing. So I'll go to on mouse out, double click. We're going to add that opacity to here. So I'll come in, go to other. Add the opacity. I guess there's tons of stuff we can do, but like I said, this is what, what I want to do. So I go from 1 to 0. So 1 is opaque, 0 is transparent, duration 500. Click OK. Now if we wanted to add a, let's say, a behavior to this box, we could do that too. I could add another behavior and say on mouse over for this. And we could do tons. I mean, you guys can affect all sorts of things. I know I keep saying that, but it's pretty amazing. Slide in, slide out. Check that out. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now, last thing here. If I take this box, we can copy and paste this. This is kind of cool. That way you keep the behavior. So if I copy that, just hit copy, edit copy, put my cursor somewhere and paste, we can have multiple. Now, the only problem here is we need to change the selectors on all these, and we need to change the selectors over here in the behaviors. Because if I go out and preview this, it's going to save it. Watch what happens. It's nice, but <laughs> we don't want to do that. So what I would do is come back. I'd come to each one of these. You guys will see the CSS styles over here. I would do something like group a bunch of selectors, like container, container 1, slider, slider 1, etc., and assign container 1 and slider 1 to these. Then go to the tag inspector or behaviors panel with the selected. Come to the advanced CSS animator and make sure that you guys choose what you want to animate. Instead of slider, it would say slider 1. So make sure you change that. But... So that's working with the Advanced CSS Animator from DMXZone.com. Just one example of something you guys can do, a really cool thing, without having to use Flash. That's the best part. Uh, you guys, I'll be doing a lot of videos in the future on these, so check out DMXZone.com, and they've got their own YouTube channel as well.